This is a Megasaur, a dino that is a cross sun during the day and a giga during the night. So, what if you were to make it permanently night as well as replace every single dino with a Megasaur? Yes, even the fish. Can I beat the center on alpha difficulty or will I get eaten alive by Megalos? Well, there's only one way to find out. Alright, here we go. First attempt. I am excited. Also, it looks like I spawned in the wrong location. God love the center. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, attempt number two. Here we go. Sneaky beaky. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Starting off might take a little bit longer than anticipated. Attempt number three. Here we go. If I go slowly, maybe I can dodge that guy. Oh, okay, never mind. Attempt number four. I had high expectations for this attempt and even managed to break a tree. Psych. Hell nah. For the next attempt, I spawn on the other island, and uh, things were looking pretty tame over there. Okay, this looks way more tame. Never mind. Yeah, this looks way more tame, guys. Yeah, no. Starting off is gonna be hell on earth. Wunderbar, number 6. This time, I spawned in between a few Megalos, which was bad and good at the same time. You see, Megalos don't really move, so as long as I don't get too close, it's all good. Because of this, I managed to get a few basic resources. Also, also, hold on, quick mention. This is how I initially planned to play the game. For me, it looks good. The game, you know, it feels harder, it's spookier. But, because of YouTube, you're probably gonna see a black screen. So I'm just gonna stick to Gamma 2. After getting a few more resources, I got chased by a Megalosaur and tried to escape in the water. But, uh, I'm not that fast currently, so you can probably guess how that ended. Attempt number 96, day 5. Can I please get a good spawn? No, I cannot. <sighs> you know, Loki getting kinda tired of dying over and over. Attempt number 8. Oh, this actually looks promising. Yo, not even freezing? Hell yeah, this is perfect. Alright. Now, when I get a few resources, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. So, to progress, I need hide. And to get hide, I need to kill, well, Mega Zorses which I currently cannot do, as you may or may not have guessed. So the only way for me to get that is by using gates. Only issue though, I need level 27. Since I'm an epic gamer, I crafted cook pots for XP. Level 27, gate, thank you. Crafting 5 gates is hilariously easy when the rates aren't rigged against you, unlike uh, another challenge that I did on this channel. Okay, so this should be the last gate. Yeah, perfect. Gonna make a bow, some arrows, and I think we're ready to go look for a clueless Megalosaur. After making my way, slowly, inside the dark forest, I stumbled across this lone Megalosaur, so you probably know what happens next. Easy, 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 oh my. Uh, okay, nice. After spawning back in, I was greeted by this gang. Oh, thankfully, I have movement speed this time, unlike some other challenge on my channel. After making it back to the lone Megalosaur, I trapped him up and realized he felt bad for what he did. Uh, okay, he did not. I carefully took my stuff back and got to killing. Waza! Easy. Although I had collected plenty of hide, I had to spend it intelligently. Further down the road, I ran into another Megalosaur, and it took him a solid second to realize I'm here. But after he, you know, eventually did, I had no way of leaving and resorted to killing the quote unquote poor Megalosaur. The good part is that now I guess I, I have a lot of hide. Oh, wait! Access inventory? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I will wear this with great pride, my friend. Since I had crazy amounts of hide, I used a bit of it to craft a raft because there is absolutely no chance to base in this forest or literally any forest at all. Trust me. And so I set out to look for a better base location. 
Also, uh, this is kind of worth mentioning, but apart from fur armor, the second best color resistant armor in the game is hide. So I crafted it up to tank the knight because, you know, it's never gonna be day. After looking around for a while, I finally found an empty island that I could build upon. And as you've probably seen, I'm friendless. So I need to tame a Megalosaur to actually have a chance at surviving this challenge. The only issue, however, well, berry farmers do not exist. Fifteen narcotics is decent, but I still need twice this amount just to tame one Megalosaur. Bim bam, 26, this should be enough. Then I found that you can make a regular torch turn into a literal sun, thanks to S+. However, we're, uh, we're not gonna do that, because I actually like having ice and I don't wanna go blind. After crafting around 75 arrows, I set out to blow obelisk, not to tame a megalosaur, as you might think, but rather to get some crystals for a spyglass. So, you know, I can actually see what I wanna tame. Oh, it's you. Uh, well, I'll take a free kill. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, you're not stuck. Okay, I should have followed that. I'm dead. Uh, thank you, game. Thank you, thank you. Always love to see this. Probably would have been smart to grab a parachute with me to jump down. Yeah, I'll take one this time. Okay, so I got like five guys chasing me and you're still here. Uh, okay, well, can I just take this? You're not stuck. Okay, my bad. What the... Oh, dude, I can't even show you guys what's up because this guy... Oh, and I can just spawn here. Great. So, as of right now, the whole forest is chasing me. That's always wonderful. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... <laughs> I think the only logical thing to do here is to just grab everybody to follow me and just jump off. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, everybody come here. And goodbye. Okay, now that everybody's down, I... I cannot. Oh, 150? <laughs> Ooh. Give me this fast, please. Holy shit, dude, look behind me, what the hell? After spawning back in, I noticed that the Megalos decided to team up and defend my stuff. However, I'm smarter than you'd think and led them into the water. Yeah, that didn't really work out. The good part though is that I can go and take my stuff, this time without any complications. Back home, I made a spyglass and a few more narcotics, as well as farther bit of metal to craft the saddle. Only problem? I need more hide. So I put it off for now and shifted my attention into finally getting one of these bad boys. And since they are literally so common, I get to pick and choose whichever one I want and not just same one because it's high level. So I did exactly that and decided to take home this 21 HP, 24 melee one. Only issue though, Taming this guy would end up being one of the most infuriating things I did this whole video. But you don't have to see any of that. Knocked. Okay, now I need to go and kill his three friends. <sighs> okay, so that's one down. Uh, I don't know if I can actually harvest him, because they might do it before me. Yeah, okay, thought so. Bam, and I will 100% harvest this. Thank you. With the fresh primes, I went over to the sleeping mega and gave them to him. And thanks to the time that I've spent trapped with the other three megalos, he immediately tamed. However, while thinking of a good name for him, I got shunned by the last megalosaur from the water, and boy was he mad. This could have ended very poorly. So I tried my best to help my megalosaur win the fight. What he's doing? Why are you bullying me? And he did win it, but at the cost of most of his HP. Also, quick disclaimer, every Megalosaur in this video has very good stats. Crazy stats even. And I literally have no idea why, because the stat bonus modifier thing is set to default. If you know what that is, leave a comment, because I'm really curious. After spawning back in, I healed up the Megalosaur for a bit, because I ran out of meat, and decided to just grind to level 100 to unlock an instant healing potion. It's a pink narcotic. Then I made a saddle for this big guy, 
add some more narcotics and just so you know i will stop mentioning this because it's like the 20th time that i said did i craft some narcotics after taking a break i returned home and got some crazy skins so i did what you usually do with skins in this game then I crafted some narcot. After looking around for a while, I found no gayish female to tame and breed the two megalos. So I tried to trap her, but I didn't notice her boyfriend. But hey, at least I got her trapped, so there's that. Also, I guess I should probably say ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I forgot the joke. After taking my stuff back, I had a lot of free space, so I admired the colors on this megalosaur. Yoink. Back home, I read an abomination of a Megalosaur and waited for him to grow up. Now you might be wondering, hmm, but how on earth are we gonna imprint him? Well, my dear viewer, remember that weird pink narcotic I was talking about? Well, brownish narcotics exist too, and they instantly heal, grow, and imprint any dino. Very broken, I know, but I'll use it only on dinos that have fully grown. Anyway, anyway, enough of that. I broke some trees because they give a lot of XP and set out to school island to get some metal and obsidian. Then I sacrificed my torch to the lava gods for some reason? Yeah, I don't know. And while I was minding my own business, this Onyx saw me and he made sure I will never ever forget him because this bitch gave me rabies. As such, I had to put this trip to rest and go home quick. Anyway. Back home, I smelled the metal collected and went to get level 100 for the pink narcotic. And if I use this, full HP. Easy. Also, just so you know, I'm only using this to spare myself precious time from having to use meat to heal them up. I'm not gonna use this for bosses or anything else. With everything going well, I started looking for more females to forge a giant army capable of bringing chaos and destruction on the center. Right next to Globalisk, I found level 150 Megalosaur with decent stats and, you know, standard procedure. This time, however, she was kinda smart and went around the trap, so I had to deal with that too. I made a huge turnaround and killed these guys just in case they would mess the team up in the future. And then, you know, I led the beast into the trap. Hi! Ooh, ha -ha. Ooh, that was close. Okay, yeah, I gotta be more careful on these guys. Did you know that punching things give them so much knockback? Cause I surely didn't. What? Okay, that's kinda cool. After she woke up, I fried another egg and noticed that he was mediocre. Still, a great addition to the Megalosaur army. With everything coming along together nicely, all I needed to do was the caves. And as usual, there is literally always a cave underwater, so I need the fabricator. Cementing paste is easy, and so is power powder. The hard part is oil. Since I couldn't access any oil because all the veins are underwater, I went to Love Island for oil. And with this trip, I also made sure to grab the two artifacts needed for the bosses. The pearl cave is very easy, and I also made sure to grab a few pearls, just in case, you know? Yoink! Once out, I grabbed some oil and plunged it to the lava cave. Smooth landing, check. Warm welcome, check. Making it through this cave is just as easy, however this cave, you know, it's got a little trick up its sleeve, because you have two artifacts to grab here, and you only need one. But the one you need is deviated from the main path. So, just bring some grapples and parachutes with you. Yoink! That's pretty much everything from Love Island. Then I made a fabricator, a scuba set and fried even more eggs. And just like narcotics, I will stop mashing this, but just know that whenever the megalosaurus could mate, they mated. Right, so, see this pin that I will magically put on screen right now for editing? I know, I know, incredible editing skills, nothing to see here, good. Because I need to go there. After arriving, I plunged to the water and started swimming to the artifact. Nothing to mention except for the footage lag. 
Making it out of the cave might be a close shot because that stamina isn't looking too good. Any doubters? Any doubters? Can't hear him. You know, I, I was doubting myself, but th th that's beside the point. Th th who cares that I was doubting myself? You guys believed in me and that's all that matters. 16 stamina to spare? Hell yeah. Back home, I was looking through the soups because, as you know, fur doesn't exist. Also, my dumbass thought that the green soup is the good one. Like, how did I even think that green... Like, not only does it state on the card that it's like, makes your body feel like an oasis, but it's also green. The one that I need to make was the orange one. So feel free to roast me to death in the comments. I didn't farm narcotics this time. What I did though, uh, I farmed seeds. And then I planted said seeds and used steam berries on my megalosaur to make fertilizer. And while the crops were growing, I made sure to make a few medical brews just in case I end up needing them. Alright, here we go. Green soup acquired. I still cannot believe I made this, but whatever. Medical brews acquired, let's go. It didn't even require me to set food on the island before I started taking crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, we're not doing this. To the drawing board. The drawing board doesn't exist, it's just a fancy way of me saying that we are gonna change our approach and make the orange soup. Alright, I seriously hope this works, even though I'm doubting every single ounce of it. Nope. Uh, I mean, it's way less damage, but this is not doable. Plus, the cave is probably even colder than this. Yeah, yeah, it's way colder than this. Yeah, maybe with like 200 brews. Next, I tried cutting my hair for some hair to substitute fur. But uh, when I need 56 fur for a cap, then I can cut 50 hair maximum in like 5 in game days, which is like 5 hours, things look kinda grim. And since I don't wanna stay AFK for literal days, I resorted to spawning mammoths and killing them for fur. Call me cheater all you want, I'm beating this challenge. Also, I didn't want to go by about 7 minutes again, just to be disappointed. So I flew all the way there, and I'm still freezing. After that, I tried to make a mind wipe, but uh, check out this swamp. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way to get red flowers. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just for fun, let me try this. Yeah, I guess I'm cheating in my web. Oh my god, oh my god, cheater. Uh, I can defend myself against this, but just watch the video because it's pretty good. This time I put literally 80% of the points into fortitude, so there's no way I freeze. And after confirming it again, yep, no freeze, not even inside the cave. God damn. So I returned home and went there by boat. I went there by boat, guys. You see, I'm a fair guy. <laughs> I cheat, but I don't cheat. Uh, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. Anyway, after getting rid of the cold, getting the two artifacts was a cakewalk. Numero uno and numero dos, which has like 5 FPS. Thank you, OBS. After making it back to the boat, I took a detour to the last artifact, which is in the underground center area. Also, check out this beauty of a cave. Literally, aberration before aberration even existed. Or if, you know, aberration had no radiation. As per usual, bring grapples, and that's pretty much it. Easy artifact. Afterwards, I cracked most, and probably the last batch of eggs, and went out to level up literally every Megalosaur that I had. I was aiming for around level 250 with 25k HP, and the rest went full throttle into melee. After finishing one, I changed its name to Boss Ready, and move on to the next. And you know, it didn't really take too long, but after being done with that, I healed up all the Megalos using heals. And as I, okay, as I said before, I won't use this for bosses, nothing else, just here, on camera with you. Okay? Good. And so, it was finally time to run the Guardians. For some odd reason, I thought it was either going to be very close, or that I would die. And I'll just let the fight play out. Yep, that was incredibly easy. Okay. Since I can't get the tributes normally, I use the command to give all the tributes and artifacts to myself, just for fun, to do alpha to see if megalos are truly this overpowered. Alright, so, 
Since this is alpha, I tried my best to separate the bosses so I didn't have to mess with two of them at the same time. And it worked like a charm. Broodmother has zero defense, so we shred for her like butter, baby. Hey, no deaths. Somehow? Oh, yeah, this guy's literally on the verge of death. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Well, uh, I guess that concludes it. This challenge was really fun, and thank you so much for watching, and I would highly advise you to try this for yourself, but preferably not this center, because this map sucks.